You ever been laser engraving or laser cutting something and your work moves? You know, that's not good when you really lightweight material. And I did a video here a while back, uh, not too long ago back, on doing some coaster backing and how I had to use spray adhesive to keep the uh, little lightweight cork pieces from blowing away. Well, on this, this is for the X-Tool D1 and for the X-Tool honeycomb board. These are made specifically for the X-Tool board. These little magnetic hold down pins that are shallow enough that the laser could pass over them if it needs to. And I'm going to show you how these work because I've got a, a piece of work on here I'm going to be cutting to make uh, some shot glass holders. And the plywood is not exactly flat. And you'll have that when you get into the 8th inch Baltic Birch plywood. It tends to get a little warpy. So I'll show you how these work. So as you can see here, my board is not exactly flat. So I need to put these little pins in to keep it flat. And I can set them on the corners or midpoint or anywhere I choose. Like so. And it holds it down and keeps it flat. And it'll also keep it from moving. There are six of these in a set, and I'll be using uh, four of them here to hold that down. I'll just store the other ones right in the board over here. So I can set this to frame, and as you can see, it passes right over the top of the, uh, the pin. So as you can see, that held everything nice and flat in there. I'll take all that out, and I'll get ready for my next one. So there's a little quick demonstration of these neat little hold-down pins. They're magnetic low profile so they don't get in the way of the laser head. The laser head can pass right over the top. Uh, nice when you need to hold down some very thin material or something that may blow around from the air assist or you got a piece of uh, eighth inch plywood with a little bit of warp to it. Now if you got something with a big warp and it's like quarter inch plywood, these aren't going to hold it down. You're going to need to steam it and iron it and straighten it out. But for this, works perfect. All my pieces came out perfect. And I will put a link in the description of where to get these. Uh, just a handy little thing to have for your laser. And yes, you can 3D print things too for honeycomb boards, but you don't have the magnetic hold down like these here do. And it works great with this X-Tool honeycomb board. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. Roger in the shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.